big ideas, dreams, visions. What do you do when you have a lot of those? How do you make those come to fruition? How do you make progress in a linear path, or at least a winding path that's kind of course correcting into the right direction towards those goals? Now, I'm gonna give you a few tips in today's video on how to do that, and something that's very important to do on a daily basis, a daily habit that can help you really get closer and focus on where you're going in regards to your goals. Let's get to it. So the one habit to must, do it regularly, ideally daily, every morning, write your goals down. Even if there are a few of them, write them down. That's the most important thing, develop a habit, okay? Write your goals down, daily, okay? These, these books are amazing. Rodia, they have dot paper, this one's grid, okay? And I actually use both of these on a daily basis. So my morning routine is coffee, each of these books, and then my pen, which is out there, a very specific pen that I got. I tested a bunch of pens to find the right pen. It matters. I write down my goals. I usually start thinking about things that are on my mind or important topics or subjects, whatever. And I'll sometimes do diagrams like this, like I was doing an 80-20 the other day. I was doing the 80-20. So you see, 20% equals 80% of the results and what my efforts are. Doing things like this, spending time every morning to think, not only about your goals, but also just about things in your life, analyzing your life, how you're spending your time. Are you discontent? Are you unhappy? Is there something you need to make a big change with? What is that? Like, what does that look like? What is that thing? What are things that you could do towards that? You really need to self-analyze. You really need to self-analyze. As Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Yet the most of you, the most of the world, the most of the planet does not spend time to analyze their life. That is a huge failing. And then you hear a lot complaining or blaming the rich or blaming the haves. The have-nots love blaming the haves, but they don't like spending any time thinking about their shit. They don't like spending any time figuring out what do they need to do to get to that next level, to get to any level. They don't even know what freaking level they want to get to. This is why you have to set very clear, specific goals. And that's the other tip. Write down exactly what you want. So I want to have the wild farm here in Austin about within a year or two. Even that is vague. I should have, I should set a deadline two years from now. So by 2021, I will have the wild farm in Austin. I'm going to grow bamboo on it. I'm going to put mini homes on it. I'm going to have it as a event space. A, you can do workshops there, retreats. I'm going to have a, my house, the primary residence. I'm going to have animals. I'm going to have crops. I'm going to have everything. My kids are going to grow up on this farm. It's going to be within an hour from Austin. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. I'm looking for about 40 to 50 acres. And I have an idea of the price it's going to cost. Let's just say at least a million dollars. Well, let's say I give myself a million dollar budget. I have a pretty clear image of what that looks like. And so when I start going to look for that, and I've already done some looking, I've looked at some properties and I, I want water on it, I want trees on it, right? I, want, I have a very specific parcel of land in mind. Me saying I want a wild farm versus me saying what I just told you is freaking night and day. How much more likely is it, do you think that I'm gonna get that farm where I'm growing bamboo and I have mini homes and there's water on it and there's trees on it? and it's 40 to 50 acres versus I want a farm. I've always wanted a farm. Yeah, I want a farm. That's, do you see the difference here? And most people set their goals basically saying, I want a farm. Instead of saying, I want the farm with the trees with the bamboo and I want to do some other animal, et cetera, right? You have to set clear and specific goals. Then every morning, write them down. Write them down. Write them down. Visualize them, all right? Life is too short to be mediocre. Life is too short to be average. Average puts you at risk of a lot of things. It puts you at risk of being unhappy. It puts you at risk of the next recession, not having any money. Do great things. Think bigger. Go and get them. Create linear path towards your goals. Follow those steps. Every single day, focus on what are you doing towards those goals and live an extraordinary life. That's what I want for you. That's what I want for as many people as possible because it's going to make the world a better place. Like and subscribe.